a very good day to you watching this video. During a recent birding safari and while getting ready to watch the sunset with our guests and having set up our time-lapse camera of the sunset already, we saw these two zebra having some kind of interaction. So I decided to take a bit of extra video footage of them and it really actually worked out as you would see very nicely that the time-lapse footage and the video footage of the same zebra happened to be taking place at the same time. So please keep watching to the end of this video because the short little time-lapse video will follow after this interaction video of the male and female zebra. The bigger zebra is the male and the smaller one is the female obviously. I think we can safely say that this was a courtship display and it looks to us like the female was presenting herself to the male. It is very difficult to see but at some point the female dropped tiny 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 bits of urine. The male then basically sticks his nose into the grass where the urine is and he picks up these microscopic little messages. He then goes through a process called flemming where he pulls back the upper lip and keeps the grimace going for a few seconds and in this time the information that was in the urine transfers to what is known as either the Jacobson's or the vomeronasal organ. Here the information is captured and then processed by the brain. The whole idea of this event is to establish if the female is indeed ready or not to mate, if she's an estrus to mate. I want to speculate that this female is still a bit too young, but I might be wrong. It is very clear that she was definitely presenting herself and really interested in having the male have her maybe as his first wife. Maybe he stole her from another harem, from another stallion, and it's his first wife. So that would explain why they're alone and why there was no other zebra around. And they sometimes do this. If he can't get his own harem by fighting the big male off, he actually would steal a female. Another very interesting thing about zebra that very few people know is what we call the dark side of the zebra. This is when a male zebra would actually take a female away from the harem, steal her, like what I think happened here, and if she has a baby and the baby is born, he will actually kill it because he wants his own genetics rather than another male's genetics. Now, for us humans, it might be very cruel, but from a genetical point of view, it makes a huge amount of sense. There's a great possibility that this female actually was very keen to become the new queen to the new king. She thought maybe that she was an estrus, but we, we can't speculate on that. But it's very interesting behavior. We really hope you enjoyed the video and we would love to have you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet because we promise to share many more wonderful nature videos and great African destinations. Hope you enjoyed the video and bye for now.